So I will be very brief in, in introducing the Africa Biodiversity Activity. Um, I will start by uh, giving an overview of what Africa is, but Mika has said a lot of, of things so for Africa. I will be very uh, short in, in giving you the main objective of, of the program and uh, the main product that is um, developing uh, in the, the current phase. Uh, after we talk about AFRIMAS, but we will have also uh, a presentation dedicated to AFRIMAS and Lynn will cover this. So also I will be very short. <laughs> so I will be covering, I mean, very briefly all the, uh, the aspects that will be developed later on. Uh, just an overview of Din Africa. So Din Africa, as Mika said, there is a previous phase of, of the for the project, and the project uh, in the earlier phase focused in enabling uh, participant member states to get access to data available in other uh, data uh, <laughs> worldwide distribution. Also, they develop skills for manipulation of data and preparation of, of data and information product, and also to develop infrastructure for archive, analysis, and dissemination of data and information product. The current phase of Odin Africa, it's more a product-oriented uh, project, and it has a main goal, which, which is the improve of uh, the management of coastal and marine resources. And the, uh, and the marine environment in, in general. Uh, and this by enhancing data flow into the National Oceanographic Data Center, Information Center, and participant country, who are about 20, 25 countries participating in the current phase of, of the project. But also by strengthening the capacity of the center to analyze and to interpret data and develop product. As I said, it's much more. Uh, product-oriented uh, project, which required to integrate and to manage uh, a lot of coastal data uh, in Africa. And the, 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 uh, the final aim is to, to increase the uh, delivery of services to, to end user. Uh, what are the main products uh, that uh, the current phase of, of Within Africa is uh, focusing on? Uh, we Here, I, I've identified four of them, but there's much more, and make us listed all, all the products that are uh, developed in this uh, phase. But let me say that Marine Atlas is the main uh, product that will be uh, come out this uh, out of this current phase of, of the project. It's kind of, of map server of um, it's serving a lot of, of data uh, in, in GIS format, but those data is coming from. Um, public domain uh, database, but also from local data uh, that are um, analyzed and uh, uh, processed by uh, National Oceanographic, Oceanographic Data Center. Though this atlas is kind of portal where all the um, oceanographic data are put in in uh, in a GIS format, so you can go to this atlas and. You can download some of the data in, uh, that are available in the public domain, as I said, but also uh, data that are held by, uh, by the, the National Oceanographic uh, Data Center. One other product is the African repository of related publication, the Ocean Doc, but also that another repository of um, the, the repository of, uh, uh, of NODC uh, uh, publication. Uh, Mark will cover this item this afternoon. Uh, he will talk more in detail about this product, but it's a repository where all publication of, of uh, African NODC are, are put together. They are not only published uh, article or, or books, but also there's a great literature that are in, in this uh, uh, repository that is very important uh, because most of the African, I mean, literature, maybe not all of them are published, most of them are gay literature, so we can uh, find all this uh, uh, gathered in, in one uh, uh, platform, which is the this uh, uh, Ocean Doc repository. Also, one of the products is Afrimas. 
and uh, Lynn will uh, will uh, cover this uh, later on. She will uh, uh, give you in detail what is it and how to access to it and how to extract data from it. So she will go through all the process of uh, of this uh, uh, register. But um, uh, and one other product of within Africa is the Ocean Data Portal. And uh, this is portal where all these databases produced at the African country could be indexed and we could we can uh, go and uh, uh, find, identify where data is, who holds the data, and we can extract uh, the data. We can ask for data uh, uh, through this uh, portal. So those products are not working in an isolated way. They are communicating together. And uh, let me say, for example, that the Ocean Dock can give input to AFEMAS. We can identify biodiversity data or biodiversity uh, uh, publication in, uh, in Ocean Dock that could be fed in, in, uh, in AFEMAS. So data from AFEMAS could be processed and treated as uh, maps and could go to the Ocean Atlas. And all those products could be indexed in the ocean data portal. So those products are, are very complementary in, in functioning, but we, we need that all of them are functioning in an optimal way. And this is why we are here. We are here because we need that this AFIMAS uh, be fed with the maximum of data coming all around Africa. So what AFIMAS? AFEMAS is a taxonomic database for many species found all, all uh, around the African coast. The database was originally developed as a marine data, uh, species database for the eastern uh, Africa. It was originally called MSDA, but it moved to AFEMAS later on because it ha has uh, more, uh, more extended special coverage. Uh, and it was extended to the entire uh, African coast. So AFEMAS, it aims at to compile and management authoritative list of species occurring along the African main coast, and it's intended to be used as support for biodiversity research and conservation and sustainable management of marine environment. So this is the, uh, the aim of this uh, register. So how did Africa could contribute to, to, to AFRIMAS. So I, I like this uh, diagram because it summarizes a little bit how Odin Africa as a project could uh, uh, contribute to this, uh, to this register, which is aimed to live well beyond the Odin Africa, because Odin Africa is a project, but this is a register, and this is intended to, to have a, lo a long life, <laughs> well, well beyond Odin Africa, because Odin Africa is is finishing this year, so but this project have to have to live. So Odin Africa could contribute at this level by providing taxonomic data and uh, distribution data to AFRIMAS, but AFRIMAS it's just uh, the African component of more more uh, global uh, register, which is the World Register of Marine Species, and those uh, register um, will be the taxonomic background of uh, OBIS, OBIS, which is uh, what we'll cover this later on, which is the, uh, what is it? <laughs> Ocean Biogeographic <laughs> Information System. So this is uh, this diagram, but uh, Odin Africa has uh, contributed also to OBIS by, by, distribu by um, distribution data, uh, but now, uh, Odin Africa is focusing more on on uh, on AFEMAS as a taxonomic data because we 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 uh, recorded a lack of of uh, uh, taxonomic background for the um, AFEMAS component, which is the uh, the uh, the African component of OBIS, and Ursula will cover it later on. So how Odin Africa could contribute to AFEMAS? We can contribute at different level, in fact. But since now we only contributed, but uh, by data mining, we we 
we uh, we bring a big effort in in in, in editing data to to offer us. Uh, but let me say that other aspects on are still missing, uh, and we need to to contribute more to this uh, to this uh, register. We need to be uh, to contribute by the, the governance part of of of, uh, of this register, and I will explain later on what's the what will be the, the governance uh, task uh, uh, of uh, this register. We need also to contribute by quality control of the data because the data are quality controlled by um, uh, a team of editor, which is the team which take care of the uh, of. Um, uh, of worms, which is the global register, but we need to identify uh, local and uh, experts from Africa that could take care of the quality control part of the register. And we need to valorize also uh, the data in AFIMAS and to find linkages to other uh, programs. So uh, for, as for the data mining, uh, just to remind you that we hold a theme mobilization workshop to f uh, uh, to edit data in, in the, uh, the register, and uh, this has uh, considerably contributed to increase the number of records in, in, in the AFIMAS. Just for an example, we had uh, uh, the last one, the last uh, mobilization workshop was held in 2012 in, in Tunis, and it has contributed uh, in increasing the number of records by, but at least for the distribution data, but th out. More than 20% of, of the record uh, are coming just from uh, one uh, mobilization workshop. Um, the, the mobilization workshop are very important because they gather uh, expert and they put it in, in one room and say, um, yeah, you have to edit data, but it's not enough because it's very, um, I mean, episodic uh, phenomena. We have to, this work we have have to be a continued work, uh, and uh, if we wanted to the this register to be uh, very consistent, we need to to put more effort uh, on this. And if you, we look at the um, the statistic or the the database growth, we have noticed that uh, from 2012 there is a little increase uh, of the record coming to to AFIMAS. and this is, was. Uh, the, the, the input were only individual input from from scientists. There is no federated work at, carried out at the national level, and uh, that contribute uh, uh, significantly to, to the to the register. So we need more federated work more done at the local level that can uh, contribute more to the to the register. Uh, so uh, now we are working in, on individual initiatives. And uh, this is way. In this way, if you continue, that cannot be very good for the for the register. Is not enough. Uh, Why like, it's like this? <laughs> I have problem of uh, of format. Anyway, this problem of. Uh, Data format. As for the governance part, we 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 uh, we, ident we um, identified uh, a term of references for the steering committee of uh, of this register, and we uh, uh, this steering committee we identified some as, as I said some term of references related to to how to manage this database and how to to. Uh, to identify expert to carry out and to validate the content of the database, how to supervise uh, the editors, and to monitor the the, uh, um, the progress uh, of, of the database, and also how to liaise with other programs uh, to uh, to uh, to feed this uh, this this register, and uh, how to coordinate also the all the AFMAS activity. So this uh, term of reference was agreed on during Tunis meeting in 2012, uh, and we asked for um, uh, nomination from different members uh, in, in Africa, uh, member state to uh, to nominate 
experts in, in this steering committee. Uh, and we, we um, decided that experts should uh, coming from different regions of, of, of Africa, coming essentially from the different uh, LME region, LMEs, which means large marine ecosystem uh, region. So we asked uh, uh, people to nominate experts from, from this region. And also we, we asked through email, but also we, we, uh, we present AFEMAS in different, uh, during different meetings, uh, like the Odin Africa Steering Committee meeting, the Odin Africa uh, Main Information Workshop, and the, the Regional Coordinating Meeting uh, of, of, uh, of Africa. But the result is that few nomina nominations are coming. People are interested, but little is done in terms of implication in the governance of, of this database. And this will cause some problem for the register, because if there is not a governance body that can take care of uh, the activity, so the register cannot go by itself. There is, there is a need to, to have uh, uh, people taking care or, and taking the main decision uh, how uh, to uh, and the main orientation for this product. Um, as for the, the quality control, uh, so as I said, in Africa did not contribute a lot of it, but this will be covered uh, during this workshop. And this uh, will cover mainly, will include uh, of the taxonomy, the literature, the gazetteers, and we, you, will take some a part of, of, of this quality control now, but we ask you also to to carry out some quality control when you are back home. Uh, as for the valorization and the link of, uh, to other program, here just I put an example of, of data that are in AFEMAS and not in AFROBIS and vice versa. So AFROBIS and, uh, and uh, AFEMAS are very complementary because we can find some taxonomic data, distribution data in AFEMAS that are not in AFROBIS and such taxonomy in AFOBIS, not in AFEMAS. So we did uh, some quality check, some check during Tunis meeting, but just for the Tunisian, uh, the Tunisian water, but this need to be also done for the other part of, of Africa to check what is in, in OBIS that are not in AFEMAS and uh, to complement uh, the, the, the different uh, database. Uh, but for a link to other programs, we need contribution from the LMEs. If, we, you, if you see the different LMEs, the, the um, GC LME, the BCC LME, the, the CC LME, and the ICC LMEs, all of them have big biodiversity component in their program. They're producing a lot of biodiversity data, and you may be aware of that. <laughs> Uh, but little of those data are coming to, uh, to AFEMAS. So I know there's some representative from some MLME, I saw BC, you are not representative, but you are involved at least in some of those LMEs. So it will be great if you can uh, uh, connect or make a link between what are produced in, in this LMEs program and to, to try to feed uh, AFEMAS with what are produced in, uh, in, term, in the framework of these programs. Um, now to finish, what is this expected from you, at, at least at the, uh, when we will finish with this workshop? We need you to be a focal point for data mining in your region, because we, are, we have been identified, as what say, we have a big list of, of participants coming from African all African countries, we have been identified, you have just the chance to participate to this workshop, but you work that should not stop or finish when you are back home. You have to be the focal point for data mining in your region. You have also, maybe you know more than we, uh, the, the, um, the national expert or expert for some taxonomy group in your region that could join the uh, editorial board of, of uh, AFEMAS. It will be great if you can, can communicate names of person that uh, could uh, join the editorial board. 
And also we need uh, you to, to, to connect, to, to make the link to program providing data. And uh, some of you, as I uh, said, are involved in some of the, of the big projects, the GEF funded projects in the LERMIS. It would be great if you can make those data available uh, to FMS. Thank you and have a good, uh, good job until.